Hello, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my July TBR. <laughs> Reading has not been my number one priority for the last couple of months and that is because I've been doing my professional accountancy exams. Not that anyone cares, but what will happen in July is if I pass my exams, which I find out on the 15th, I will then be going back to college on the 18th for three and a half weeks of intense study, which will limit the amount I can read. And July is also the month of Yauk, so that is a full weekend, a three-day weekend that I will not be reading. I can read while I travel, but will not be reading. Um, I am also with Cole at the start of the month. I'm going to come home. Um, I say the start of the month, the first two days. So I'm going to come home, feel quite upset about being home. So yeah, I really don't know what is in store for my reading in July, but I wanted to set some plans. These may change depending on whether I've passed my exams and go back to college. If I don't go back to college, I've got much more reading time. So maybe I'll do another mini TBR, who knows? But that's enough of me waffling, let's go through what I need to read. So the first book on my TBR is How to Scouter by Vincent Bugliosi. Um, this is the Chloe's Crime Scene Corner pick for the month and it's a little bit of a chunker, um, but if you don't know what Chloe's Crime Scene Corner is, we read true crime and dark fiction. This month is a true crime month. How to Scouter is about the Manson family and Charles Manson, so I'm really excited to read this. I don't, I feel like I don't know anything really about the Manson family. I know the, the very, very basic points, but I've never ever looked into it in depth. So yeah, this is definitely in depth. If you would like to find out more about Chloe's Crime Scene Corner, I will link the announcement video to the month's picks where this one is, um, so that you can go check it out. The next for sure book I have to read is the book that's been picked as my Patreon buddy read for the month. So every month the La Push Beach and Cullen House Tears pick a book for us to read and in July it is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I am quite daunted about reading this because I have loved some of V.E. Schwab's work and not so loved her other work but I got this gorgeous edition. It has sprayed edges and it's actually signed. So of course I had to get this edition and now the patrons are making me read it, which is great because I think I would put this off for such a long time without them. I don't know too much about this book and I think I'm gonna stay that way. I think it is about a big haunted house. And when I bought this book, I was lo watching a lot of The Haunting of Hill House. And I feel like that's why I wanted to get it. I don't even know if this house is haunted. I just know it's a big house of some sort. And that is all I know. <laughs> Will I like this? I, I don't know. Next up, we have the book for the By the Angel Along, which is a read along hosted by Becca at the Becca Fowl. I've hoped to take part in all of her live shows recently, but I did miss the last one because of college. And I need to get up to scratch because um, this month I need to read Clockwork Prince, which is book number two of the Infernal Devices series. At the time of filming, I have not tried to read Clockwork Angel. And I'm not going to be able to read this before I go away on Saturday. I'm currently filming this on Thursday night. So um, both of these books need to be read at the start of July, which um, not ideal. These are rereads, so I feel like they'll go pretty quickly. But also saying that maybe being a reread will make me read slower because I'm less excited. I don't know. Do I skip this series? I don't think so because I know that a lot of the later series have links to this. Um, so I do feel like I need to reread them. But yeah, I get home on the evening of the 3rd of July and she normally does the live shows the week after that. Maybe she's doing it on the 3rd and then I will miss it, but I may have a week to read these books. I'm gonna try my best. And the next thing I need to mention is my Patreon TBR jar. This same tiers, the um, La Push Beach and Cullen House tiers can put a book in this jar for me to read. Um, but I actually haven't read last month's pick, which is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. And this was Nikki's pick. I feel like this is going to be a quick one, but I just haven't got round to it because I'm still catching up on the stuff of the month before. So I'm still reading May's Patreon jar pick right now. June's is going to roll into July. So I'm going to try and read this right at the start, but I, I, I do need to pick another one. So let's see what other book I'm adding. Go right for the bottom. This one. Oh, I'm so happy. This is this is Mal's pick, which is One True Loves, which is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have heard amazing things about this book. I have loved 
Taylor Jenkins Reid's work and I can't wait to dive into this one. I feel like this is going to be an easy read and I definitely need that with all of the fantasy that I am letting myself read and a heavy true crime. So this will probably be some light relief. Maybe when I go away to college. Let's I think that works. This works. I like this. And then this is the quickest TBR I've done in a while because the only other book I want to officially put on my TBR is Meet Me in the Middle by Alex Light. This comes out on the 22nd and it was an arc I received from Harper360YA. I am awful at reading their books on time and um, this one I just want to try and read before the release date. This is about two characters, Eden and Truman. Truman is the older brother of Eden's best friend, Katie, and there is some sort of an accident and it brings them closer together, is all I know. Um, but I would like to read this one before the release date. And there we have it, guys. I have sped through this TBR, but this is what I'm gonna be reading in July. I am really hoping that I go away to college because obviously that will mean I've passed my exams, but it will also be the start of my final exams ever for professional accountancy, meaning they are hard and take a lot of concentration and a lot of time out of reading and uh, doing YouTube and all that stuff. So let's hope I go, but if I don't go, I will have more time to read. So swings and roundabouts. But yep, yeah, there we have it. That is my TBR. Have any of you guys read these books? Please do let me know down in the comments. I would love to have a chat to you about them. But on that note, that's all I have time for today. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.